Well, let's go. Let's get this party started, y'all. Let's get this party started. Let's get it started. Let's get it started. Let's get it started. I'm ready. Honey Chunks, how you doing, baby? I left you a whole bunch of hearts today. Don't know if y'all know it, but to all of our replayers, all of our replayers, how you guys doing? Um, all of our replayers, how you doing? Don't forget to leave your hearts. Don't forget to share this scope. I've been watching the replays. Listen, we almost at 700,000 hearts. We're trying to get there 100%. 700,000 hearts, 700,000 hearts, we're almost there, we're believing by the end of the month for 1 million, 1 million by the end of the month, look like we're going to make it, we've been averaging about 90,000 a day, about 90,000 hearts a day, Malcolm, what's going on, man, how you feeling, about 90,000 hearts a day is what we're averaging out right now, so we believe in God for the best today, I'm telling you, um, Yes, so if you guys are replaying, if you're on watching the replay, we want you to go ahead and get comfortable. Go ahead and share your friends. Let your friends know that they need to be on this scope. They need to be on it. I want to start off with just paying a tribute to Prince. Prince, if y'all don't know, man, he's gone. He's gone. You better get your house in order. One thing I will say about this is that uh, Prince might have been a whole lot of things. He might have been a whole lot of things, but one thing that he was, he had a relationship with Christ. One thing he was, he had a relationship with Christ. I said, I was told that he was a seven-day Adventist. And that he wouldn't even play on Saturdays because he was a seven-day Adventist. And a uh, matter of fact, I think one time, I don't know, I, I just heard a lot of things that he was a, really a believer. He really was a believer, man. I really hate to see him go. One of the creative geniuses of our time. When I say genius, genius. The stuff that we're listening to now, he made years ago. And we still love it. Purple Rain, let's go crazy. Party like it's 19. I mean, when does cry, you name it. Man, one of our geniuses. He's gone, but that just lets us know, man, that tomorrow's not promised to anybody. Tomorrow's not promised to anybody. And so uh, I want to encourage everybody, everybody, get your house in order. Get your house in order. So we're going to have a, uh, that's a little Prince party starting off with. Just a little, while we got some people coming to the room. Adore, that's right. Bug, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Stephanie's good to see you as well. Uh, I'm not sure. Look, nurse, I seen you come in the room. Who else came in the room? I'm not sure. Y'all don't know. When you guys get off this scope, you need to go to as ever's a lot of people scoping. Brian Carn, he's in Atlanta right now. He's doing the uh, the whole Passover thing. Uh, if you guys know, I don't celebrate Easter. It's a Passover for me, and uh, he's celebrating Passover right now. They all dressed in white. It's man, it's lovely. Matter of fact, I believe many of the viewers that we usually have are probably watching that scope. It's uh. It's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing that he's doing. And uh, Honey Chunks, you're right there in Nashville. I would encourage you to go to Living Truth in Smyrna, Tennessee. Pastor Amos L. Howard, my brother, uh, is there. He's having the same kind of service. Uh, Living Truth in Smyrna, they're having the same kind of service right now. Uh, right now, they're having the same kind of service. They're celebrating Passover. They don't celebrate Easter as well. Uh, Living Truth and Getting Fit, 03. Good to see you, young lady. Good to see you. I left you some hearts. I left you some hearts. want to let you know I'm praying for you. Uh, we need that ministry in the body of Christ getting fit. But hey, check it out. We're going to go ahead and get this party started like it's what? Like it's 1999. Oh, y'all. Now, see, let's some of y'all to y'all to y'all your unsaved days. Y'all like, oh, Lord, I remember when. But hey, listen, we're going to start off with this trip to Prince, y'all. Let's get this party started. To California. You didn't tell me you was going to California. I had no clue you was going to California. I'm glad you made it safely. I'm glad you made it safely in Jesus' name. Is that what she's going to college? Well, if you guys don't know, we're doing a debt-free analysis today. A debt-free analysis today. We're doing the debt-free analysis today. Right, listen. While we're doing this celebration right now, band trip. Oh, God. Uh, hope she has a ball. Go to gmhoward.com. Again, that's gmhoward.com. Go to downloads. Go to welcome in your download box. Download your Excel spreadsheet. We're going to be going over that today. That's why we got this up in the background. I know it's hard to see, uh, but that's the best I can do. Uh, right now, it's the best I can do. We're going to do that. But hopefully, you got your computers in front of you. If you don't, go grab your laptops right now. Go grab your laptops right now. Georgia, yeah, go grab your laptops. Woohoo! What's going on, Miss Mel? Good to see you. Uh-oh, I done messed up everything. Y'all see? You can't never let me have the remote. I mess up everything. Don't let me have the You give me the remote, I just mess everything up. <laughs> All right. All right, so go to downloads. Grab your laptops. Go to downloads. Um, it's a spreadsheet. Once you download it, we're going to do a debt-free analysis right now, live on the air. A real analysis, real numbers, real everything. I want you to grab that. Download it right now. GMHoward.com. GMHoward.com. And go to downloads, gmhoward.com while you guys are going there. Don't forget, 
What's that? Y'all know I was a little drummer boy in high school. Lead them hearts. Lead them hearts. Use Don't use one finger. Don't use two. Use three if you're bad. I mean, if you're really bad, take four fingers and put them on the screen like that. Now, listen, don't be tapping on people's comments. Don't be tapping on people's comments because it's going to pull up their profile. Go to the top of the screen. Bam. Y'all wonder how I be leaving a 500 to a 1,000 hearts that quick? Man, that don't take me about three, four minutes to leave a 1,000 hearts that quick. Bam, 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 bam. I'm telling you, it works like that. 90,000 hearts we believe in. Well, we we got to get to eight. We got to get to a million. We're going to be at 700,000 by the end of this go. All right. So let's go ahead and let's do this. Y'all know what time it is, right? It's time to go ahead and hit swipe from left to right. Hit that share button. Hit that invite button. If you're not following me already, hit that follow button and follow me right now. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I got you. I got you. Um, swipe from left to right. If you're on iOS, hit that hit that button. That's right. Sonny Chunks invited her followers. That's right. Thank you, Honey Chunks. Um, if you haven't invited your followers, then also share it on Twitter. Share it on Facebook. If you on iOS, you gotta hit it like that. I do. You know, you gotta do it with the cool style. Hit it like that right there, and go ahead and uh, hit them followers. Thank you so much for getting fit for uh, inviting those followers as well. Um, inviting followers and also share it on Twitter. She shared it on Twitter. Thank you so much. We're going to get started. I'm ready, y'all. I'm ready to get started. My name, this is Financial Freedom University. Letitia, thank you for uh, coming on in this room. Thanks for coming on in the room. Thank you so much. We're doing a debt-free analysis, a real analysis. This ain't something somebody saying, uh, we're going to believe God for you to be debt-free. We believe in God. How are you doing, sweetie? Good to see you. Like your picture. Uh, we believe in God for you to be very... I believe God for you to be debt-free too. But guess what? The Bible says this. Faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead. Thank you, uh, Misunderstood, uh, for coming on in. Death, I'm telling you, faith without works is dead. We're going to believe God, but we're going to put a plan together for him to bless. He said he's going to bless the works of your hands. Young Gilbert, good. thank you for coming on in. He's going to bless the works of your hand, and whatever you do shall prosper. If you ain't doing nothing to get debt free, ain't nothing to bless. If you ain't got no plan to get debt free, guess what? There's nothing to bless. We're going to put faith and works together. Every morning, we do faith in the morning. And in the afternoon, what we do, we put works with it. We do principle, biblical principles in the morning and we do life application in the afternoon. We put faith and works together. I'll tell y'all this every day. Faith without works is dead, but work without faith is toil. And many of us have been working every single day, working, 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 trying to get free, trying to get free. And we're toiling. That is not of God. That is not of God. That is not of God. I'm going to tell you again. We have to be in the word. We got to be in the word. What the word say? He says, plan your work, work your plan. Write the vision down, make it plain is what he said. We putting a debt-free analysis together right now. GMHoward.com. If you have not been there, GMHoward.com. Go to downloads, top right-hand button. Matter of fact, I'm on the screen right now. Let's see if I can zoom in. All right, let's see. Let's see here. Uh, see, I'm trying something new. Ooh, oh, Jesus. Uh, No, that ain't it. Uh, uh, uh. I'm trying, y'all. This is new. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I know we was up close and personal, wasn't we? <laughs> um, it ain't gonna work. But listen, up here at the top right hand corner, let me shrink me back down. I, you know, I'm cute, but that ain't that cute. Lord Jesus. Oh, all right. All right. We're gonna go up here right next to the search box in the top right hand corner. Uh, good afternoon. Or good evening, Delin. Good, good evening, Delin. Go to the downloads. Click on downloads right there. Yeah, that bright screen is way too bright. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can uh, do something right quick. We're going to go to picture. Is that better? That's a little better. Y'all can see a little better. Let me see if I can do it now. Don't flatter myself. I said I wasn't that cute. I mean, I can't say I'm ugly now. Hold on. The Lord didn't make nothing about me ugly. When he made me, he said it is good. All right. So that's it right there. I want you to go right. Y'all can't see my mouse. Click this button right here for downloads. It's going to open another tab for you. When you get the downloads, I want you to go straight right here. Go to welcome. That welcomed category right there. I don't think you guys can see what I'm doing. And once that pop up, you will see it right here. It says welcome analysis. And just click the button downloads. If you guys do that right now, you guys will be on me right. We'll be with me 100%. I don't want to lose anybody. I don't want to lose anybody. Listen, we're going to actually put numbers on paper. Now, I'm telling you now, it's going to tell you. And when you get done, it's going to tell you. She said, wait, wait, wait. We're trying to get there, too. When we get done, it's going to tell you if you, land in the, if you are in the land of not enough, if you're in the land of just enough, or if you're in the land of more than enough. 
It's going to tell you right there. Numbers on paper. That's right. We're going to plan our work and work our plan in Jesus' name and watch God bless it. That's right. Uh, any, many, money, mo. What's up? I like any, many, money, mo. Catch a saint by his toe. Holla. What's going on? How you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> All right. So uh, go to jimhoward.com. We're doing the death rate analysis on paper live right here. On paper live right here. Um, and we're going to talk about step by step how to do this. Step by step. Listen, debt free ain't hard. It's dedication. I'm going to say it again. Debt free ain't difficult. It's dedication. Debt free is not difficult. It's dedication. If you're dedicated, you committed. I mean, if you got the tenacity and the fortitude, the strength to say nothing, nothing, nothing's going to stop me from getting out. Boy, I'll tell you what. Watch God work. Put this plan together. Put it together. Download it right now. GMHoward.com. Top right hand button, go to downloads, go to welcome, and then uh, go ahead and download that right there. On the page right now, what now? If you're on the page, top right hand corner, top right hand corner, right next to the search box. Right next to that search box is going to be a downloads button. Listen, we teach this right here where you guys are getting that together. I'm going to go ahead and share this with you. This is the scope where we say nobody on this scope is normal. That's right. Nobody's normal. If you are normal, you are on the wrong page. Listen, normal in America means this. It means to be broke. It means to live check to check. Normal means to be divorced. It means to file bankruptcy. Normal today means you got credit card debt, student loan debt, car debt, mortgage debt. It means to be stressed out, fighting over money. We don't do none of that on here. That's right. We are weird. Weird means that you are not normal. I don't, I don't want to fit in. I don't want to fit in. I'm weird. I'm weird. I'm, when it comes to my finances with nobody I know because they all broke. They fake it. They fake, they fake the funk. The statistics, 76% of Americans do not have $1,000 in the bank. 76% don't have $1,000 in the bank. Well, you know what that means? They live in check to check. One emergency, boom, they done. One emergency, boom, they done. If they got laid off today, boom, they done. They, don't know, they, can't, they ain't got enough payment to make it one month. Not here. We helping you get that thing together 100%. We helping you get it together. Y'all got this debt free analysis yet? Go ahead and hit the number one for me. Hit that number one. If you got it already, hit the number one. If you don't, hit the number two. So I know, listen, I can find something to talk about till y'all get it. I promise you. Number one, somebody got it. Somebody got it. If you don't have it, hit number two. If you got it, hit number one for me. All right. We got some number ones. That's what's up. All right. Let's get started. When you first get there, listen. When you first get there... <laughs> When you first get there, you're going to have a welcome screen uh, on your thing. Let me pull mine up right quick. Let me see if you guys can. Uh... Mm -mm -mm. I'm telling y'all to open y'all to it ain't working. It'll work. What's it doing? Tell me what's it doing a uh, little bit. Y'all don't know. A uh, little bit, man. Y'all, first of all, y'all want to understand. I see the welcome screen. Okay. You see the top right hand corner where it says. You see the search box in the top right hand corner? If you see that search box, right next to it, it's a category that says download. Okay, what I do? Go to the home screen. Nikkei, how you doing, sweetie? Uh, I watched your scope today. Watched your scope today. And uh, girl, I was watching your scope today. And I was like, she pretty. I had never really looked at you. I was always listening to the tax information. And I said, wow, she's a pretty young lady. She really is. And uh, yeah, Prince is gone. I, I know Prince is gone. We actually we played some music. Uh, we played some music just to start it off. We're gonna finish up partying like it's 1999 in here. But right now we're gonna talk about how to get debt free in Jesus' name. I'm talking about in Jesus' name. We getting debt free. So all right, I'm going back to the website. I know y'all can't see that well, but right up here, man, I wish I had my other things so I could do it. Right up here, go to the very front page, gmhoward.gmhoward.com gmhoward.com uh, on the main menu bar at the very top it says home financial freedom university wealth coach business coach calendar and then downloads you want to click, click on the downloads button you want to click on the downloads button i'm trying to get off so y'all can get to scope i know y'all trying to get to paraschool paracorn we got we got to get there i, I got to catch the replay i always do my scope and then once you get the downloads I want you to click on the welcome tab. The welcome tab is going to open up other, uh, a whole other folder for you. Inside of that welcome tab, there is a uh, welcome analysis button. On the far right hand side, it says downloads. 
on the far right hand side. Dan Sullivan, how you doing? It says downloads. Hit that downloads button for me. Hit the downloads button for me. When you download that, it's going to actually open up. We're going to go step by step through that uh, as we go uh, as we go through here. So go through here. Uh, thank y'all for representing. Prayer school is in the house. If y'all went prayer school. Go ahead and put a number one on there. Put a number one. Everybody representing Paris School, the Paris Squad. If y'all want to hit the number one, I want to see who all representing. Who all in there from Paris School? If y'all don't know, I'm an avid, I'm an avid Paris School, Scope School. That's right. I'm an avid uh, watcher of two people on Scope. Number one would be Danielle Willingham, and number two would be Ashley Ann. Ashley Ann and Danielle Willingham, they are 100% off the chain. If y'all not following either one of them, as soon as you get off of here, you need to follow them 100%. They'll take your whole nother business to a whole nother level. I promise you, I've been doing this, God, Jesus, 20 years. I've been I've been doing business now for 20 years, probably 18 to be more exact. I work for somebody else, maybe, eh, maybe, maybe, I have my own company, maybe 12 years, about 12 out of the 20, about 12 out of the uni. I got I got both of them. Yes. All right, let's get started. We've been waiting on you, girl. All this time, we've been waiting on you. Let's get that free. Y'all ready to get that free? All right. Well, that's first of all, who am I? My name is George Howard. I'm a minister. I'm a I'm a minister, public motivational speaker. I'm an author, entrepreneur, and I help you put money in your account. That's right. I specialize in changing change. I specialize in changing that change in your pockets to dollar bills in your wallets. How do I do it? I do it by helping you personally and or business leads. Is that a word? <laughs> Helping you personally and in your business get to the land of more than enough. That's where you have enough for you and someone else. I help you do it. A business consultant, a personal financial coach. I got you. I got you. I know you gotta go. I know you got I know you gotta go. Y'all getting on. Y'all gotta y'all gotta test tonight. I gotta catch the replays. I gotta catch the replays. I can't even do it. I'm on scope. But that's okay. Enjoy yourself. All right, check this out. Since you guys already got your downloads, um, since you guys already got your downloads, let's go ahead and open mine up and let's get started. Again, if you got it, hit the number one for me. I want to make sure you guys got it. If you got it, got to hit the number one for me. Toronto bound. Oh, you must have been still at the airport. You must have been still at the airport. Safe travels. We're going to, in fact, God, we speak blessings and safe travels over her in the name of Jesus. We speak now that you best the pilot and everybody that's on the aircraft that where she's going, that God, is, it fits her in the land of welcome because she has peace, God, in the name of Jesus and everything that she, she, you have for her, God, she receives it now in Jesus' name. We thank you. We give you praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Nikkei, have a blessed time. We'll see you when you uh, actually land because I'll be watching you. All right. All right. So it says, welcome to Financial Freedom University. You should see that right there. Uh, all right. Now, it says this at the very beginning. You guys can read, so I don't have to read it to you. I'm not going to share your information with anybody. I will not. I promise you, we don't We do not do that. We don't We do not do that. We're incorporated. We got insurance. Uh, we don't want no <laughs> we don't want no cases. When you get done, email me your sheet. If you want a personal analysis, you want a personal analysis, want me to look at it, get put a plan together for you. Email me your sheet. Email me your sheet. That is it. Welcome at gmhoward.com. Welcome at gmhoward.com. Welcome at gmhoward.com. We'll say it again. Welcome at gmhoward.com. Email me your sheet. Fill it out. Save it. And then email it to me. All right. Let's get started. Hit click on the very bottom screen. All right. We're going to, have to do it personally. Click on the bottom screen where it says income, income, income. Real quickly, put your name in there. So it's going to put George Howard. I like I got to put George. I ain't got to put Howard in here. Address. We're going to skip address. We're going to skip phone. Email. I need your email address. So I'm going to put George at gmhoward.com. Marriage status. I am single. Age. I am 39. My, listen, I need this information. At least I want it. I am needed. I'm going to be honest with you. Your Facebook email is GM Howard Jr. at Yahoo. If you're not following me on uh, Facebook, that's, that's it right there. GM Howard Jr. on Yahoo. Periscope handle was GM Howard Jr. Uh, Twitter handle was GM Howard Jr. Instagram handle was GM, GM Howard Jr. No. Uh-uh. Nope. I'm not. Employer. Is me, so I'm gonna put Jim Howard Financial. Go to go to the income tab at the very bottom, next to the welcome tab. At the very bottom, I wish I could put this thing right here, but it's right there. I don't know if y'all you can't see it. At the very bottom, it says income. <laughs> I get a good wife. So <laughs> pray, pray on in, pray on in. All right. Um, 
Oh, gee, y'all can't see it. I, I wish y'all could. The very bottom at the income tab, y'all should have that. If y'all haven't noticed, if you want to find me on any of the social media, any of the social media, it's Jim Howard Jr. It's that easy. She said, pray. Pray on it. God says, whoever finds a wife finds a what? Good thing. I want the good thing, but watch this. He says, and I find favor with God. I want the good thing and the favor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I want, I want both of them. The good thing and the favor. Yes, Lord. And then, yeah, that's low. Y'all gonna make me shout. Stop it. All right. So, <laughs> all right. Now, I got this design. This is designed. It's gonna actually, actually throw out a whole lot of formulas at the very end. It's designed to actually tell you exactly where you are. Um, designed to tell you exactly. Uh, look for income. <laughs> I gotta look for, I gotta look for, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, somebody who's organized, business minded, somebody who's caring, nurturing, somebody who's saved. You know what? I got a whole like category. Y'all ready for these? Since y'all doing this on the website, y'all ready for these? Uh, number one, she got to be saved. Number two, she got to be strong. Can't be with no weak woman. Got to be a strong woman. She got to be sexy. I want sexy. Yeah. Sexy is good. To me, I don't care what y'all think she's sexy. As long as she turned me on. As long as she liked my world. When I look at her like, girl, I can't wait to get you home. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. She got to be saved. She got to be strong. She got to be sexy. What are some other S's? I can't was five S's. I forgot what they were. Strong, safe, sexy. Um... That's it. If she got them so strong, safe, and sexy, I'm good. <laughs> um, oh, sensitive. One was sensitive. Sane. <laughs> Yeah, because it's some crazy. If she says she's sanctified, but if if she, yeah, saying would be a very good one because there's some crazy ones out there. Lord Jesus. All right, let's get this down. Let's get into this thing. All right. Um, so the employer frequency of pay. Uh, it's a drop down list right there. You can just hit the drop down. It should tell you salary, weekly, bi weekly, or monthly. Uh, I get paid monthly. I get paid every day, really. So. Uh, we just put for fun. We just put bi-weekly on here because that's what most people would be. We say rate per hour. We say twenty dollars an hour. Let's say we make forty hours a week. All right. Uh, that's the FFU understanding household income. Now this is how where we actually put our income in. So if you have more than one job, we have job one, job two. We have child support. We have social security. We have a other other means that if I left something out, y'all put it in there. So. Um, Job one, let's say we make uh, three thousand dollars. Let's say we make three thousand dollars a month gross, but we only net two thousand. Y'all see that right there? It automatically calculates, put it at the bottom for you. Let's say we got child support coming in of four hundred dollars a month, and they don't take out any taxes, so it's gonna be four hundred dollars a month. Okay, so I got too many people lost. Okay, let's see here. Floetic, go to the website jimhoward.com and download us. Okay, do you have the sheets up? Let's 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 figure out where everybody is. Did you did you at least get the sheet, honey chunks? Tell me this is this is why we need. I got it. You know what? We are gonna start doing webinars. Like I got Y'all gotta be able to talk back to me. Okay, you got the website. Did you get to the download button? Did you see the download button? Did you find the download button? It's it's working for it's it's gotta work. Okay. Is it a sheet with red on it? Yes. The very front page has red on it. It says, welcome, Financial Freedom University. Uh, see. All right. We about to, I'm about to unhook y'all. All right. Watch this. I'm about to unhook y'all. All right. Let's see here. We about to unhook this right here. Net income cash flow. Okay. Let's see here. All right. Let's see. Let's see if I can find it. Uh. We're going to do it like this, y'all. All right. Right here, next to the search bar, there's a download button. I want you to click on that download button. That download button is going to bring up another page. I want you to hit the welcome button. When you hit the welcome button, there's a red download button right here. Red download button. When you hit that button, it's going to download right here. It's going to download right there, and then you open it up. When you hit this button right here, the red download button is going to open right here. And then you open it up. You have to have Excel on your sheet. You need to have Excel on your sheet. All right. Did that help anybody? 
I'm trying to hang y'all back up on this thing right here. Did that help anybody? Did that help anybody? Did that help anybody? Nish, what's going on? <laughs> I got to tell this one more time. We on GMHoward.com. We went to the download button. Did that help anybody? Did y'all got it now? Oh, she like, oh, yes, you got it. Look at the Lord. The Lord, see? Just take a little bit of instruction, a little bit of patience. They're like, hey, what's going on, Miss Nish? Good to see you. Yeah, you got to have Excel on your computer, but I think pretty much everybody got Microsoft Office by now. Ah, ooh, I got it. All right, y'all ready? We might have to play some music now. If you're ready, if you're ready, it's even me. If you're ready, go on. It's not open everything you are saying. Okay, did you at least get it open? Ms. Vocal Doctor, Stephanie, did you at least get it open? If you got it open, you on page number one. I'm going to take you back to the thing. I'm going to take you back. This is not supposed to be hard. That means that y'all, you know, you see, y'all know what y'all telling me right here. You telling me that my website's too complicated, so now I got to go back and make it easier on my website. You're telling me, see, this is feedback that I need. You're telling me that the website is too hard to navigate, and that's that's. Listen, if you wasn't on the scope, you already gave up by now. That's not good. That's not good. I got to get that together. I got to make it easier, make it less complicated, convoluted. It has to be user friendly. That's good. Welcome, financial freedom. Okay, good. All right, so when you get there, let's see here. How do I switch this thing? Right there. All right, so when you get there, you see this button? It just says welcome at the bottom here. And then it says income. Then it says debt and credit. And then it says analysis. I want you to click on this income button right here. Click on that income button right there. I know it says income. It's kind of blurry and dark. I had to take the... The light out the computer so you guys can see. All right. Now let's see here. You guys see my little stand and stuff. I got there my printer over there in the corner. Don't worry, my house is clean. Wait, it's got to show up. You don't have the income button. Welcome income. Lord Jesus, we might have. Hmm. Yo, stuff broke. Good evening. Good to see you, Miss Sullivan. Good to see you, Miss Sullivan. Listen, we're actually on, we're actually doing a real debt free analysis today, a real one, where we're downloading. Go to jimhoward.com, go to the download button. Go when you hit the jimhoward.com, go to downloads. And once you click on the download button, click on the download button and it's going to download the Excel spreadsheet for you. And uh, we're going to walk through this. I got some people who all actually are on the income page. If you're not on the income page, we're going to do this later. We're going to talk about something else. If you're not, if we can't have everybody's, everybody having problems. Uh, so Honey Chuck says she got me. Okay. Hit it too. If you want, if you got, if you got it working for you, press one. If you don't press two, because we have too many. I want everybody to be able to follow me. We have too many people not following us. We're talking, we're going to actually, we're going to switch this and talk about no income page. What in the world is going on? Okay. Why are you not? Brittany, do you have the income page pulled up? Is it just, let me see if I can download this thing right quick. Let me see what's going on. Two, Joseph said two, so it's not working for him either. Okay, so let's see here. Downloads, let me see what's going to download for me. Bug said two. All right, so something's not right. Mm-hmm. Download. Okay. All right. So while we're doing that, let's do this. It said it could not be downloaded. That's interesting. All right. Well, hey, guess what? I'm a wealth of information. We're going to switch it up. I just had to start another Periscope account. I'll over the link to it. Right, change your mind, change your money. That's the uh, that's the main site. Bug got it working. So one out of thirteen ain't good. All right, so let's do this. We go ahead and switch. We're gonna do the debt free analysis later on. If you guys don't know, we do the six phases of wealth. I wanted to take you through. 
um, actually the dead eliminator today, but we're going to switch and we're going to go to, uh, man, I got 30 minutes. We're going to talk about credit restoration. It's on the, yes, if you guys don't know, I want you guys to actually, uh, Miss Sullivan is a inspired. When I say inspired, I really don't want any. Thank you for joining us. She is inspired. She is knowledgeable. Uh, but I bless God for if you're not following her, I want you guys to go ahead and find her right now on the list. Matter of fact, put up some emojis, Danielle. Put up some emojis so people can follow you. Uh, we are partnered together in the name of Jesus, man. I'm believing God for great things. We're going to conquer the country. See, I'm not intimidated. We do the exact same thing, but I'm not intimidated. There's so many people. Listen, 76% of Americans are living check to check. 76%. This is according to USA Today, CNN Money, uh, Huffington Post, 76% of America. Bankrate.com. Uh, hit those hearts right there, y'all. Hit those hearts on her and follow her if you're not. Um, we're going to take the country by storm. We're going to actually, I want a whole team of just people that do finances. A whole team of them. And I just want us to just take the take the kingdom. Listen, one of the, one of, one of the uh, Bible studies we did a long time ago is that uh, you are supposed to be, if you are in the kingdom, if you are in the kingdom of God, you are supposed to be blessed. You are, you are supposed to be blessed. That's what the word says. That's what the word says. Now, I didn't say uh, you can train me. Yes. <laughs> All right. You're supposed to be blessed. And what happens is that the world is supposed to see us, not only see the light that's in, within inside of us, but they're also, we're supposed to actually be the blessing to the world. When the, when the world needs money, they're supposed to come to the kingdom. The kingdom ain't supposed to go to the world. That's backwards. How are you going to say we serve a God that, that owns everything on the earth, but when we need a loan, we got to go to the world. When we need a house, we got to go to the world. We need a car, we got to go to the world. When we need education, we got to go to the world system. We need health care. We got to go to the world system. No, that's right. We're a distribution center. That means God gets it to us so that we can get it to other people. That's all we is. We become a catalyst. God can get us to us. He can get it through us. How we do that? The enemy has had us trapped for so long. He's had us trapped for so long, making us believe that we're supposed to be broke. You ain't supposed to be broke. You ain't supposed to be broke. The devil's a liar. That's been that poverty stuff has been taught in our, in, our, in our lives for so long. That's why every morning we are eradicating that thought every single day. Eradicating it. Abraham was rich. Isaac was rich. Jacob was rich. David was rich. Solomon was rich. I mean, all throughout the Bible, we say these men were, these men were rich. We say Peter was rich. I can't wait till we get to the New Testament. I can't wait till we get, I don't know, we hope it's going to be a minute. We've been stuck in jail. I think we started in Genesis chapter one. Uh, I'm, that's right. Adam and Eve was rich. Go back and see. There was gold, onyx, all that was in the Garden of Eden. He pimped out the garden, the Lord. He pimped out the garden. Go back and read it. It's in there. It was gold, onyx, and something else. I think it was gold, onyx, and something. I'm telling y'all, this is, he put it in there for something. That's all I'm telling y'all. All right. So this is what I'm going to do. We're going to open it for question and answer. If you got a question, I'll answer it live on the air. I don't care if it's about investing, real estate, credit. Uh, I don't care if it's about getting out of debt. I don't care if it's about your 401ks, getting uh, your, your W-4s, insurance, uh, you name it. I got you right here. Live question and answers. But we, while y'all doing that, I'm going to talk a little bit about credit. I teach credit totally different than any than anything I've ever heard Uh how to get a portfolio, a portfolio. When you say a portfolio, you're talking about as far as investing, diversification portfolio. Is that what you mean? When you say a portfolio, a portfolio of investing, is that what you're speaking about? Let me know what you mean when you say portfolio. I believe that's what you mean, a portfolio of investing. Um, if that's what it is. I think I teach this. Credit is your character. Sewing is the key. Man, you better, boy, who know about seed time? We did a whole special on just seed time and harvest right here. Seed time and harvest. But the problem is that uh, uh, it ain't just, we do sowing. Sowing, I believe in that. Sowing, sowing seed. Um, but we also got to do the time thing. And when we waste and mismanage our time, because many people say, oh, seed time and harvest, we plant the seed and we wait. And that's time. No. You got to be productive with time. That's right. He gives seed to the sower. That's scripture. First Corinthians. He gives seed to the sower. That's scripture. Um, you get seed. You know why you ain't got no seed? Number one, because you've been consuming it. You've been consuming it. And number two, you ain't been sowing it. So investment portfolio. You actually want to contact a broker. Uh, you want to contact a broker. I do not have a serious selling license. That's why I'm able to scope. And when I was on the radio, I was able to be on the radio and I did not have a muzzle. I can say and talk about any investment I want to. 
And uh, as long as I put my disclaimer that, uh, that you know, to seek a professional, licensed professional, and I'm not an attorney or I'm not a CPA, I'm not, a, not licensed with a Series 7, I can say whatever I want to. People that got Series 7 license, that certain products they can't mention, certain things they can't say. So when I was on the air, we partnered with Charles Winfrey right there in Nashville, Tennessee. He would be on the show once a week. Every investment, every investment, uh, True Richard seminar we did, Charles was there. Uh, we had insurance investors there. We had Marlon Broussard, who was our insurance person, who was there. Uh, we told, I mean, we had, we had, I mean, we had a team. We had a lockdown right there in Nashville, Tennessee. All right. So you want to contact in your opinion, who was the best? When you say who or what, you far you say who or what, who or what? You talking about like Merrill Lynch or like what? Who who would I go with? What is the best? Uh, okay, so when we start speaking about investing, since we're talking about investing tonight, when you start talking about investing, me personally, uh, I do personal stocks. I, I do personal stocks. I have not. I do not do um, a mutual fund. I don't do mutual funds. I think mutual funds are good. If you do not understand investing, uh, I would not recommend you doing personal investing uh, yourself. I would not invest, recommend you doing personal investing yourself. If you don't understand it. Uh, I pick personal stocks, though. Um, what I do, uh, when you start saying, let's see, stocks, bonds, I'm, I don't do bonds. They, they, their return is way too low for me. Build residual income also. I definitely agree with that. But bonds are way too low for me. Uh, I do. I'm just now starting. I think I'm going to do my first uh, insurance annuity um, probably coming up very soon. I've been researching annuities. I used to be against them 100%. Uh, but a fixed annuity instead of a variable rate annuity, I won't do a variable rate, but I will do a fixed annuity. I will do a fixed annuity. We're going to talk about that. We're going to have a whole section that's coming up right now. If you guys don't know, we do the six phases of the wealth. Uh, motivational implementation is number one. Number two is gen inter income generation. Number three is debt elimination. Number four is credit restoration. Number five is tax minimization. And number six is wealth accumulation. When we begin to talk about each one of these phases, uh, we're going to do a whole thing on just insurance and how to invest through insurance. I'm just now, now listen. See, I, I used to, when I was in there, I used to teach and teach and teach and teach and teach. Only do term life. Only do term life. And I had a friend call me up just recently, uh, probably about three months ago. Uh... About three months ago, she says, man, you know, I underwrite for an insurance company. And she was like, George, I got people who are young, like 35, 40 years old, and they got millions in their accounts. And they started with nothing. I went back and tracked them over the last 15 years, and they had nothing. Now they got millions or hundreds of thousands. I was like, really? She said, man, they doing it through insurance. I was like, of course. I'm like, how are they doing it? What are they, what are they using? And she said, insurance. And I was like, really? So what did I do? I got on Amazon.com. I found every book I could that had the best ratings on insurance, uh, and I start I started investigating. I started investigating. See, you can't teach what you don't know, and before I teach it, I'm going to try it. Can't teach what you don't know. I've always taught this: be self insured, be self insured. So you get a term life in 30 years, a 30 year term life policy. In 30 years, you don't need insurance. Why? Because I'm insured myself. I got a million dollar, not net worth, but liquid. I got a million dollars liquid in the bank. I don't need an insurance policy. I already can leave an inheritance to my children's children. But one of the vehicles that people are using is insurance. How are they using insurance? Number one, uh, they're able to use insurance because once that insurance policy is actually able to build enough, uh, enough, enough money into it, they actually can borrow from it. How do I get money from term life? You can't. That's one of the things that I'm telling you. Term life only. There, there is no investment policy inside of a term life insurance policy. Uh, you got to get a whole life or you got to get an annuity. Um, that's what you have to do. You got to get a whole life or an annuity. It's called a cash value life insurance policy is what it's called. And I'm telling y'all what I read. I'm not telling you what I've done. Uh, I told you just three three months ago, my whole philosophy on this changed. I read about it and I've been talking about, yes, that's all it is. Just pure insurance. I'm telling you what I'm not telling you what I read. I'm not telling you what I've done. So I'm putting that out there. I'm going to actually put it in the market. There's usually about a six to eight percent return on your money. But the good thing about that is that it don't go through probate. It passes probate. So if something happens to you, your heirs can get that money. If you guys watched yesterday on the scope where we talked about uh, the seven things that uh, single parents must do, the seven must for single parents financially. Uh, one of the things we talked about is getting your estate in order. Uh, and talking about that probate thing, going through probate and how people fight over stuff. You don't got to do all that. Insurance is already there. Um, in the insurance policy, it automatically passes down to whoever you already named into that policy. And then uh, you can actually borrow against that. You can borrow against it and pay it back. And it's not taxed. 
It's not tax gross, tax deferred, tax free. Uh, there's so many things. You can roll it over to other accounts. There's so many things that you can do that I was just illiterate to. I just didn't know. So I spent five years on the air teaching something that uh, I had read, I had tried, I had done. The philosophy makes sense, but it is another vehicle. It is another vehicle. Now, me personally, I put most of my money into real estate. I'm being honest with you, most of my money is in real estate. And for you guys to know, I put, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm so transparent now, man. It, it should scare the devil. I'm sure, I'm sure, what if y'all read 35? No, 35, girl, you young. 35, you a baby. <laughs> she said, what if I'm 35? Girl, you, you a baby. No, don't, no, not at all. You want, but you don't want to wait. You, you don't want to wait. You want to go ahead and calculate on that. One of the things I tell y'all now, and I tell everybody this, I'm so transparent. I'm starting over. I'm 40, stop it. <laughs> uh, I'm so transparent now. Uh, that's one of the reasons, if you guys are watching uh, Honey Chunks, uh, I met her. Um, share the love. That's why I hit those hearts. Hit those hearts. Uh, thank you, Brittany, for that reminder. Uh, I met her as the DVD guy. If you guys, I'll tell you a little bit about me, a little bit about my story, just a little background about me for those new people who are following me. Um, real quickly, I'm not going to go into all the details about it. Just real quickly, at a very young age, I started doing more. Uh, y'all, <laughs> y'all all young. Oh, bless your heart, Miss Stephanie. But don't act like you old. I didn't see you while you shut down the city of Houston. I didn't see you shut down the city of Houston, so I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so, <laughs> so she said, "Bless you, Stephanie." <laughs> y'all remember this though? Remember this? Remember when we thought? Oh, Dallas. Remember when we thought uh, forty was old? Remember when we thought that? Now we 40. We're like, man, 40 ain't old. Now, <laughs> y'all remember though? Remember when we was younger? Like, we were like 18. We was like 40. Ooh, you old. <laughs> now we about to hit 40. And I'm like, man, I had a friend. I called a friend. Well, a friend called me today. I had, I, we only talked like once a year. And she called me up today. It's like, hey, I was just thinking about you. Wanted to call you up. And uh, we got to talking. I said, wait a minute. I have known, because my daughter's 17. I knew it before my daughter. She got a 16-year-old daughter. I said, man, I've known you 20 years. That's scary. When you start saying you've known somebody for 20 years, that's scary. All right. Tell you a little bit about my story. Started doing mortgages at a very, very, very young age. So, uh, real quickly, just tell you a story. Um, worked for a predatory lender who taught me how to do predatory lending. Uh, got educated at Bank of America as, as, as I was regional vice president. At uh, Bank of America, I had a whole region that was a fund. We started off with Nations Credit, had a whole region of funding me at Bank of America. Um, regional Vice President, I was only 23 years old. That's right. I was a DVD man. I was. At 23 years old, bought my first home. I uh, wrote my book, I think, at 24. I wrote my first book, Edit Your Credit, at 24. Uh, opened my own, uh, got my own radio show at 24. From 24 to 29, I was on the air answering questions every single day. I think about 25, I opened my own mortgage company. And I uh, was holding it down. By 26, I was almost a millionaire. At 27, I got married. Um, got married, bought an $850,000 house. Um, yeah, I was good. Man, that's when mortgages was. I mean, you could do a mortgage, breathe on a mirror. You could breathe on a mirror and get a mortgage. Uh, I was, you know, I had two mortgage companies. We were doing financial seminars across the country. I was on the radio every single day live on two radio stations holding it down. Uh, we started off in my own apartment. Uh, which is me and Demond Matthews. He's on here sometimes. He's D Matt. He's an accountant. Uh, 25 next month. Listen, man, if you follow what I'm telling you to do, I promise you, man, at 35, you will never have another worry in your life. I wish I could go back and turn back the hands of time, but I can't. So, you got to make the best of your days. I still got a whole lot of them in front of me, I tell you that. And we're going to enjoy every last one of them. So, um, oh, that's right. Um, so, we went to, so I went, I was on the air doing True Riches University. Uh, to Richard University, we're doing seminars across the country, and we did everything teaching from biblical principles. So uh, I was probably doing a workshop at somebody's church once a month, uh, and minimal once a month. Every Thursday was consultation day. If yes, when we did free, that's, that's how I believe this 100%. The reason that uh, I was blessed the way that I was is because every single day we did free one hour consultations financially. Free, we pulled your credit, put a credit analysis for you, a debt analysis for you. Um, everything together um, together for you get a debt-free plan. Why did I do it? Number one, it was a blessing to people. Uh, that, that, that analysis right there would have cost people a lot of money and they didn't have it. And I understood that my demographic was African-Americans and we were broke. We didn't, nobody's ever taught us finances. And so if you wanted to actually get on that schedule, um, it took you, it was probably like a three month wait. It wasn't a problem. It was a three month waiting list to get on that schedule to, be, to book me. I mean, it just, it filled up like this. I became a household in Tennessee 
uh, household name in Nashville, Tennessee. The bottom fell out uh, of the mortgage industry. When the bottom fell out, um, I lost pretty much everything. <laughs> 25 was a great year for me. Brittany's still a baby too, y'all. I think she just hit 30. She just hit 30. Uh, matter of fact, she ain't in 30 yet. Yes, she is. She just hit 30. I threw her 30th birthday party. So, yeah, she's just hit 30. Um, uh, every, the bottom fell out. I lost everything. I've invested in something called CDOs. If you guys didn't know, it's supposed to have been triple rated insurance plans. Uh, I didn't insurance. Triple rated. It was a triple rated uh, investment. Triple A rated investment. Supposed to have been anyway. It was tied to the mortgage market that was not as insured as it's supposed to be. Everybody got bailed out but me. Uh, they didn't bail out the little guys. They bailed out the big guys. Uh oh. I don't know what that was. Uh, might be Prince. I had that up there. Oh, it's Shaka. What y'all know about Shaka? Anyway, um, uh, nobody bailed me out. I hit rock bottom. I lost my house. Uh, my credit got messed up. I lost my health. I lost, lost everything. And uh, when I say everything, I lost everything. And so I was at the gas station one day uh, trying to rebound. Seeing a guy selling a DVD. He was selling a. Uh, American Gangster. And man, he pulled, I had a 20. He was selling for $10 a piece. Uh, he was selling for $10 a piece. Like he bought, and American Gangster said, man, I ain't buying no bootleg for $10. He said, man, it's the real thing. Open, open up a DVD player, hit play, and it was a real thing. And he pulled out a lot of money, like that thick. And I asked him, I said, man, uh, you made all that making DVDs? He's like, yeah. So I put it in. It was the real movie. When I got to the house, I put it in the real movie. And of course, he been an entrepreneur. I said, man. The movie, the real movie, don't come out for like another week. It was another week before the movie came out. I went about 500 CDs. So I went about 50. I went about 50 CDs. Uh, that's right. I went about 50 DVDs, rather. I went about 50 DVDs, and I sold all 50 of them the next day. I made $500 in a day selling DVDs. So I was like, you know, that's something to this DVD thing. So then I made a list. Started doing, I started doing lists. Started hiring kids. Pass out flyers. I became a DVD. And a half later, anymore smart i'm too intelligent i'm too brilliant i don't want to do this anymore um just didn't want to do it actually moved back to gary and i had some some other troubles that we talked about on my my other troubles that we talked about on my well i just tell y'all i beat up the repo man <laughs> i'm telling y'all man let's get the truth i went from richest to variance very very variance uh he said he had, I paid them. They got paid. They got paid. Uh, very, very, very humbling experience though. And then uh, I went through nothing. I remember uh, the way me and Brittany actually met. I was actually had no car. I uh, working as a, um, as a, uh, Brittany, what was my title there? Uh, a mortgage counselor? Housing counselor. I was a housing counselor in Chicago, Illinois, where I met Brittany, who's now my PA for now five or six years. Um, Y'all know I'm always looking for opportunities to make money because I'm an entrepreneur at heart. That's who I am. Um, had no car. She taught me how to catch the train and the bus and, and, and Chicago, Illinois. Um, God has blessed me. I remember buying my first house, buying my first car, rather, buying my first house, my first car. I remember that. And I was like, hello, thank you. Mercedes Benz S550. I was all for our dead name of Jesus. Um, you know, God is, I see the house. It ain't, I, I didn't put cash, $30,000 into this. Um, just God has been good. I've done business consulting now, still doing the financial management. I own a tech company called Assure Tech. Uh, right now, this year, we should sign about ten million dollars worth of contracts this year uh, with some with some colleges right now. So God is man. When I say God is blessing, God is blessing. He's in the blessing business. I went from rags to riches. I mean, from riches to rags, back to riches again. I'm telling you, God will do it every single time. You just got to trust him, trust him, trust him, trust him, trust him. I guarantee you he'll do it every single time. Listen here. This is what I want to do. Let's go ahead and ask us a question and answer. You guys got some questions about um, budgeting, net worth. You want something about how do you revise your check stub or how do you look at money in your check stub? You want to know how you revise your W-4s. You want to know how do you create a business. You want to know about incorporating, getting out of debt, your credit. You name it. I'm answering it live right here. Don't forget to hit those hearts. Don't forget to hit those hearts for me right here. I promise you on Monday, we'll be right back here on Monday, Friday. I got something special for y'all. We doing date night on Friday. Uh, Bug, uh, Leslie, uh, Lady Drea, Brittany, uh, Josette. Don't mess up for everybody. Y'all already did date night. We going on a date on tomorrow night, y'all. I want y'all to understand. Get here. I want y'all to be here. Invite everybody. It's date night. I can't tell you what it means. Just know that we're going on a date. We're going on a virtual date. Really. Y'all get to pick the place. 
<laughs> y'all get to pick the place. Y'all get to pick everything for date night. And we're going out on a date. And we're going to actually get a financial lesson behind this date. Uh, Mr. Robinson, I'm not sure if you went on date night. I'm not sure if you went. I'm not sure if you went on date night or not. Um, but yeah, we're going on a date. Fellas, y'all get to say what we wearing. Women, y'all get to say it's the first date. Y'all going on a first date with somebody and she fine. I mean, she bad. And when I say bad, she bad. I mean, she the one where you pick up the phone and say, hey, man, hey, hey dog, man, I met this chick today, man. She is, man, I can't even, man, let me tell you. I was at the store. <laughs> y'all know how we do. Dr. Juicy, how you doing? Good to see you. Wisdom Holistic. Y'all know how we do, man. We pick up the phone like, man, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, uh, I've never been. Brittany, you went on the date night with us. You you did the day, whole date night thing with us when we was on Periscope. We did the date night thing. We're going to do it tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. And if you guys don't know, we do a financial game uh, every single morning. A financial game on every single morning where we do a review. From the things we talked about in the morning scope and the afternoon scope. The first one put the answer in. Y'all be like this in the mornings. The first one put the answer in wins. Um, Stephanie is our champ. Stephanie's the champ right now. Um, I think everybody didn't have the title though. Joe Seth didn't have the title. Mr. Robinson didn't have the title. Leslie didn't have the title. And uh, Stephanie just took the title from... Uh, just took the title from... Uh, Lady Drill had the title. Lady Drill was our very first runner. So everybody didn't... We didn't, we didn't have... Uh, everybody didn't won. But we're going to see who's going to actually keep, keep repeating, 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 repeating. So it's not just about sharing the information. I want to make sure you retain the information. Are you retaining it? Are you getting it? Are you living it? And then holding you accountable. Listen, if you guys want to contact me, go ahead and hit the, uh, go ahead and hit the uh, profile button. If you go into my profile, click on my bio. Click on my bio and it will take you directly to our landing page. Uh, just put in your name, email, and add, put in your name, email, and phone number, excuse me, into, your, into the uh, landing pa page. And Brittany will... Um, contact you Brittany will contact you and uh, set up a 15 minute uh, session with me set up a 15 it's free don't worry it's free and uh, it'll really help if you can get this thing downloaded and actually get it to me first get it to me first before you do it so I'm gonna play with this tonight I'm gonna play with tonight on Monday I promise you it'll be up and working you guys will be able to download it and not have any problems with it I'm gonna, uh, and on Monday get that thing fixed so again if you guys want to get in contact with me hit that up button you know, it's left my profile where it says my picture. When you do it, my profile and my bio will come up. Click on that. And when you click on it, uh, it's going to take you to my land phone number and email address. Name come to Brittany. She's going to set up a 15 minute consultation for you. All right. With that being said, it's. Glitching. Don't know Prince is gone. Yes, great info about money. on your up and found some. Let's go. Let's go. Go do it. Here, but go find that money. Go get it. It's yours. She said we're already working on ours. That's right. It's yours. Go get it. It's yours. Go get it. All right, we're going to take y'all back. I don't know if y'all remember this or not, but uh, it's Prince, y'all. It's And we're going out of here. Uh, we're going out of here partying, y'all. We're going to remember one of the greats, one of the greats of our The one that, that was short heels. We thought about them. Put on robes. Put purple in place. Nobody was rocking purple before Prince was rocking purple. And just a musical genius. A musical genius. Listen, this stuff was made when I was this big and we still listen to it. Because why? The man was bad. Listen, if you don't got your house in order, order because you never know the time or the place or the date. But God, you never know. But know this, his grace is sufficient. If you don't know Jesus, I want to introduce him to you. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. He is your Savior. He died for you. He died on the cross for you. Your sins. And all you got to do is step into your heart and he'll come into your heart. I promise you, he'll change your life every single time. He'll change your life. That's to say, God, I understand you died for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. And today, I want to accept you into my heart and I want to live for you for the rest of my life. It's that simple, y'all. It's that simple. And guess what? You ain't got to stop listening to Prince either.
Oh, get that right there, boy. Oh, oh, yeah. That's it right there. I'm out of here, y'all. I'm going. <laughs> yes, the best man. Can't nobody be Prince. Nobody. Can't nobody knock the man off the man. Nobody. I'm telling you, way before his time. Way before his time. I hate to see him go, y'all. I really do. But I'm telling you, just tells us each one of us that we never know. When it's gonna happen, we never know when it's gonna happen. We never know. If y'all hit them hearts, we won't. We should be at 700,000 by the end of the night. By the end of the can't wait, do you? I can't wait till I get my, my first million in the bank either. That first million in the bank. I ain't talking about assets a million. I'm talking about bank and be like. I'm gone, y'all. Uh, yes, and I'll see y'all on tomorrow at 7:30 a.m. Be blessed.